Cognitive decline starts at about the age of 20, and a lot of people feel like it's just part of the aging process. In fact, seven out of the 10 factors that impact cognitive decline are actually within our control. The BrainWorks program is designed to take you through a step-by-step -step process to creating a cognitive fitness training plan. Brain health and brain training have really come to the forefront lately as baby boomers start to turn 65. The things that we talk about in the BrainWorks program are identical to those that you would want to follow if you were trying to prevent Alzheimer's disease or other forms of dementia. For decades, scientists believed that the brain was hardwired. What has recently been discovered through technology and medical advances is that the brain actually continues to adapt. Neuroplasticity is a relatively new concept. Neuro means for the brain, and plasticity means that it is adaptable. We want to use neuroplasticity to our advantage. We have to create the right stimulus. You build roads, and with things like exercise and proper nutrition, getting enough sleep, managing stress, that's like putting concrete down on those roads to ultimately make them super highways so that your brain wants to move in that direction without spending a whole lot of extra energy. One of the most well-documented aspects to maintaining your brain is actually through physical activity. When we do aerobic exercise, we stimulate a chemical called BDNF, which is known to cause neurogenesis or the development of new brain cells. Studies have shown that our cognitive performance and our ability to concentrate is actually optimized within the first two to three hours after aerobic activity. One of the big challenges with today's busy lifestyle is that we are all under chronic stress, which is that underlying stress. It's the noise that's around us all the time. One of the most toxic things for the brain is a stress hormone called cortisol, which has actually been shown in laboratory studies to kill brain cells upon contact. There's only a couple ways to get rid of cortisol. One of the easiest ways is physical activity, in particular intense aerobic activity, which causes your system to burn off those stress hormones. It turns out that social connections are a big part of the survival mechanism that we have. The more socially connected we get, the more the brain believes that we have the support we need. So the more people we have around us, the more likely we are to survive a negative situation. A study recently showed actually that a lack of social connection is worse for your health than smoking cigarettes. There's three key factors when it comes to nutrition and brain health. The first one is making sure that you eat light and often because if you have too much glucose in the system it actually starts to become toxic. The second thing is to make sure that our nutrition provides us with a healthy balance, that we're not getting glucose too quickly into the system, but that we're also getting adequate glucose. And the third element is getting power foods. And these are the foods that are really going to amp up the power of your brain because they're contributing things such as antioxidants and phytochemicals that actually battle against the natural effects of metabolism. Sleep is not just a time where we turn off our brain. In fact, if you look at brain scans, you'll notice that the brain is very active in areas that are replaying information. If you schedule breaks throughout the day, you start to build a natural oscillation. So you have periods of stress with periods of recovery, which trains your system to be able to recover more effectively. Then when you get to the end of the day, you can actually start to come down more naturally because you've had that ebb and flow throughout the day. We start out with a brain health assessment where we look at your habits now and things that you might be doing to either contribute to or detract from the health of your brain. Second thing we look at is what the key strategies are for optimizing brain health. And we talk about the Fab Five, nutrition, physical activity, stress management, sleep, and social connections. And then finally, in the third section, we talk about cognitive fitness training, which is really optimizing mental performance with strength training exercises, flexibility training, and then finally, endurance training so that you can keep this up even in the midst of a busy schedule. As you practice the strategies in the BrainWorks program, you'll find yourself more able to focus and you should notice yourself feeling more energized, which is important not only for your work, but also for the other things in your life that matter most to you.